Our first guest is a prodigiously talented actress and comedian. She is an alumna of SCTV and her special entitled uh, Andrea Martin. Why is that blanked out, Kevin? And it was changed. Huh? It was changed. It was changed, okay. And her special called Andrea Martin Together Again premieres on Showtime this Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program Andrea Martin. Andrea. <laughs> How you doing? I guess you're expecting guests. <laughs> very, very attractive. Would you like some chips? No, thanks, dear. How have you been? Any margaritas? You no. know, since I've, um, I live in Los Angeles now, you Of course you, know. you do. You got a lovely gone home there? Gone completely L.A. Uh -huh. and only now think of margaritas and fitness instructors and that kind of thing. And venison? Fitness Oh, I thought you said something about venison. I'm sorry. But geez, that's odd. She moved to California and she's eating deer meat. <laughs> <laughs> How would that happen, I said to myself. Well, I know that must have been really just, you must have thought long Well, of course that. I did. Of course, now, dear. But, uh, and it, it's oh. paying off. You look terrific. You look like you're in the top physical condition of your life. Well, thanks, Mr. Letterman. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. kind of things do you do? What, to work out? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I, uh, I've had this, I've been working on this new thing called a Stairmaster. Do you know what that is? Do you know what a Stairmaster is? <laughs> You see, I'm There's applause doing... for the manufacturers yeah. here, obviously. A piece of athletic equipment. Yeah. <laughs> they a shot put. Yeah, <laughs> we've seen them. Right. Uh, it's something that simulates walking upstairs. Why don't you just walk upstairs? Well, you see, you know, how far can you go? It's a half an hour. I'm going to do the Empire State Building. I'm walking up daily. And you know what I saw the other day there? Oh, no. George Hamilton. On the Stairmaster? On the Stairmaster in a designing jogging outfit. Uh -huh. For half, this thing actually can cause cardiac arrest. It is so, it takes it's an, tough, is it? It's very, very tough. Thanks for being right there with me. So, um, <laughs> Mr. Hamilton's next to me, half an hour, not a drop right. of perspiration. How long was he on the machine? Half an hour, David. Half an hour, I'm oh, sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. How, how long were you, you know, on the machine? You know, when I leaned over to see if there was some body odor stuff, nothing at all. So the man is a robocop, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Go ahead. <laughs> and uh, this, is, this is the extent of your workout is this machine? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a chip, sure. All right. Now. <laughs> Me uh, hungry, obviously. We, yes. we can get you some fresh ones if you no, like. No, don't worry. I know the budget's low. They pay me. Believe me, I know that it's you, not very Do you much. still have a trainer? Did you ever have one of those deals? I, I have a trainer now. Does yes. he come to the he's, house? It's Is a, it he? It's a girl, and I go to Female? the club. Mm -hmm. oh. That's all the beautiful, beautiful girls. And what girls kind of things there. does she do for you? She says, hurry up. <laughs> don't stop now. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> more. Do it more. Uh -huh. <laughs> That kind of thing. Sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that comedy just keeps on coming, doesn't it? You know it? what? This is the, the chemistry thing is beautiful. Uh, now tell me about your home. Oh, I, I have a home now in Los Angeles, Pacific Palisades. That's a beautiful neighborhood. I used to live up the road in uh, Malibu. Did you? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. nice, clean oh, air. Yeah, I liked that's it up good. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't get back much? No, I sure don't. No, no. <laughs> two words. Ask me why. Two words. Why, Can you answer honey? two words? Go ahead. Bench warrant. Thank you. <laughs> um. I have a new home, and I got a new... Gina, do you have trouble... Are you intimidated by people that work under you? Not are under you, but people that work <laughs> under. Uh, I think I know what you mean. Like, it's it's a little, it's it, kind of an un, yeah, an I'm unusual. I'm not very good with yeah. that, and I, and I just hired a housekeeper. Her name is Emmy Boo, and um, Seriously, I swear to God, her name is Emmy Boo. Was she from Hanna-Barbera? I think she <laughs> yeah, completely in blue when she came in. <laughs> I do a cartoon voice. Thank you funny. very I much. It. Um, yes, Emmy Boo. She doesn't speak a word of English, and I had to speak. She actually came what, to the. What house. language does she speak? I don't actually know. I can't. Uh, I can't figure it out. She came to the house about two weeks ago. I interviewed her. She had knocked on the door, and I said, "Hello, come in." She said, "Come in." I said, "Come in." 
Oh, yeah. Going. Yeah. <laughs> Pulled her in. I said, all right, sit down. See you now. <laughs> yeah. See you now. I said, all right, now, Emmy, after two weeks of basically just making yourself a big sandwich and watching soap operas mm -hmm. and sort of just looking, you know, I, I saw her one day go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then turned on the TV. Uh. Before I left, I said, Emmy, please do not pick up the telephone. If she picks it up and doesn't speak any English, people say, can I speak to Andrea Martin? She ha, ha, I don't know. <laughs> said, Why do you pick up the phone? <laughs> yeah, funny lady. Uh. So before I left, I said, Emmy, please do not pick up the phone. I got up enough courage. I didn't want to insult her. Don't pick up the phone. When I leave, the answering machine is on. <laughs> yeah. No one calls. <laughs> I said, excuse me, no one calls. I said, just don't pick up the phone, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Then I felt so badly, I said, can I make you lunch or something like that? <laughs> Here's a hundred dollars. I felt very guilty about that. So you have that. quite a rapport then. That's the thing. And the lim your limo driver just picked me up? Uh, and he my said, limo oh, well, driver. Well, the, the shows, yeah. I think of you as a star. Yeah. And the, uh, <laughs> You, you would be in a minority then. That's not true. Yeah. Uh, you think better about yourself. <laughs> or I'm going to slap your face and then kiss it yeah, afterwards. Okay. Thank there you we very go. Much. Uh, we'll do a commercial then. We'll be right back here.